Hello, this is Rick Shattuck of NetSuiteConvert.com. We, we can convert NetSuite and the data into NetSuite, an Oracle small business web-based database from almost any local format. We can clean up, sort, search, and modify and analyze the data during the process. Let's take an example. Suppose you had a file which we had put in customer job list and browse. This data has names, addresses, phone numbers, email addresses that it would like to go into NetSuite. So, first of all we get it into this format, a common format. Then, we have a program that we start to get the data into NetSuite. We'll start with the, com the companies. We'll do an individuals later. We'll do about 500 at a time and standardize the usernames during the process. The program begins, prepares the data, and creates a CSV file that can be uploaded into NetSuite. The next thing we do, it has the uh, note that it has the field name headings in the top row, which is very helpful. Then we go into, into NetSuite, in the account under the setup tab you find import and export and you can import CSV records. Okay, we've saved the CSV import to save a little time in this video. We called it customer job list. We have one for customers only, customer and jobs. That's basically companies that we're talking about. Taking us to the import assistant. Then we select uh, customers only as opposed to context only select the file that we just created which is the CSV. It has an Excel icon, it doesn't mean an ex necessarily Excel. A CSV or comma separated value file. Next it's beginning to import the file. We click on next and okay it was trying to get to the field mapping page. Notice it says that there's a different number of columns than the header row found in line 296. What that usually is, is there's the presence of a comma in the file. And so we'll take a look and go to line 296. Line 296. This program we use is FoxPro, which is very good for helping to troubleshoot data. Okay, if I look down in, the, in that row, along here, I'll see that there is a comment, yes, the large copier, comma, then too, too modest. So I'm going to replace the commas with a semicolon. Now import, this should not have confused NetSuite, but it interprets a comma within the field as the start of a next field, even though we're using comma and quote delimiters. So I'll save that. I'll go back into NetSuite, reselect that file with that comma fixed for row 296, and then click on Next. Let's see if I have all the commas out. Okay, they look good. Okay, add or update. It's possible to add new records, also to correct existing records in NetSuite through this process. We have a, a saved import map, which takes the first name, the last name, the phone number, company name, address, and other information linking it from, on the left hand side, from the customer job list CSV into the customer database in NetSuite. Then click on Next and use a import map. I'll save this mapping or linking of fields from one system to the other in a uh, a name called Cust Job List. Next, I go to check the import status page to see how it's doing. 
Okay, it's list here at pending, 0%. I'll refresh, and I'll see it starts to increase in its percentage done. Maybe another refresh. Notice we've done a number of other previous imports today. You know, maybe like 14 or 50 at a time, or maybe 10 at a time, 100 at a time. And increasing the number as we troubleshoot the data. We get those commas corrected. We correct the true or false values that might have Y or N. We make them T or F as, it, as NetSuite requires. We correct the date formats. We make sure that all the usernames are actual users in NetSuite. Otherwise, that could be an error. There are a number of reasons that an error could occur. And some of the errors that you get from the import assistance can be quite cryptic. Okay, here we got 366 out of 381 records imported successfully. Okay, let's see. I'll save that result CSV file in our folder that we're working on for this project. That could be read in Excel. However, we find that our NetSuite program, a special utility that we have, enables us to view the results more easily. Okay, so this was not bad. This was that the, cust the reason that these records failed, these 15 records, was that the customer ID was already present. This customer had already done a QuickBooks import, so some of the names were already in there. The rest of this data came from Salesforce. So this avoided having a duplicate. So that's actually good. We'll choose yes. It'll mark those records as already accomplished. And then we go on to the next group. And then uh, after successive imports, we would find that the customers are imported from the source software into NetSuite so that if you list your customers, we'll eventually have all the customers that came from QuickBooks, uh, they could be coming from Salesforce, they could be coming from ACT, Goldmine, uh, an in-house database that you might have in Access or Excel. We can help you get your data from there into here so you can use NetSuite. And that's our presentation of uh, NetSuite Convert Data Conversions, specializing in importing into NetSuite.